Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and a happy new year. I know it's a little bit late for that, but I've been on a bit of an extended holiday. So I've just come back, I'm back in the studio. Uh, it's 2021, first video of the year. Uh, so I did notice while I was gone uh, that uh, there was quite a couple of comments on some of the Yuhi videos that I've done for Diva, uh, Repro and Hive. Uh, so I figured the one uh, that I haven't gotten into is Zebra 2, which is coincidentally one of my favorites since, I don't know why I haven't covered it before, uh, but I figured we'll dive in and we'll do a sound design video taking a look at how to create sort of like a fairly complex sequence patch. Uh, I like to call them sort of motion sequences. Uh, using the appreciator and a ton of modulation and then branching out over the various different channels that you have inside of zebra we're going to check that in just a sec but before we do if you guys are enjoying these videos please make sure that you hit the like button subscribe to the channel and hit that notifications button uh, you know the deal you'll know exactly when we put out new content on the channel and it helps us out a bunch when you do all right guys let's jump in and check this out okay let's get to it uh so first things first i've got zebra up right now it's gonna look a little different to what most of you are used to uh, that's because i'm using the neumann 2 skin from plugmon uh now this is a paid skin but it does change some sort of fundamental workflow things with zebra which is why i use it uh, i've gotten quite used to using it now it's got some really cool little features um but I will change back to the original skin in just a second. Uh, one of the things that I really like with this is the uh, sequencer page. They kind of redone the whole thing, um, which is a lot more logical to me. Uh, so I'm going to set up, we're going to kind of create the sequence patch now. So I'm going to kind of set up a uh, sequence in this first, and then I'll switch back to the original skin. Uh, so first things first, we're going to grab the poly mode up at the top here. Let's just set that to a projector. We're going to set our sync to 18th notes, back to 16th notes. Uh, let's bring our octaves down and uh, we'll just do this inside of the sequence here. So it's uh, kind of just, it's really easy, just MIDI notes you can just draw in. It's a little bit confusing the original Zebra one for me. Something simple like that will do. Uh, okay, and let's just change up some of the note lengths here as well. Cool, that'll do. Um, so we're gonna come back to the synth page now, and I will just for the sake of everybody having the same experience, uh, I'll jump back into the one of the original skins. There's a more familiar layout for you guys uh, for Zebra 2. Um, great, so let's get into sort of designing some sounds here. Um, so I wanna kind of get a lot of modulation possibilities, and I also wanna kind of utilize a lot of the different layers here and show you how to kind of branch out using mixes to create sort of multiple streams of audio inside of Zebra. So you've got this matrix section here, if you're not really used to programming and, and or kind of a beginner, it's fairly modular, um, it's semi-modular, so you can connect things just not in as freely as you would with a normal modular synth, but you kind of decide what modules you want to put into your patch. Um, we're going to start off with just an oscillator at the top that runs down into our main output here, which is controlled by our envelope one. So we're going to kind of spread these out into these other lanes as well to create sort of a way more complex patch. Uh, but for now, we'll just start off with um, a saw wave and let's bring out the quad mode. do something like that cool um, I'm gonna add in a second oscillator actually well let's bring in a uh, bring in a fold for now. 
we'll play around with that one. Um, and I'm going to spread oscillator one out into the second lane so we can kind of get a different sort of layer going here. Uh, to do that, I'm going to use the mixer module. So we'll just put a mix one in there. Uh, so you'll see on the mixer now, if we right click on that, you'll see the same as the input coming in. So we could actually mix this with a second oscillator as well. Uh, but for now, we're just running oscillator one into the mixer uh, via the sidechain one input. So you can kind of clearly see what's happening there. Uh, now we can go and add in a filter. Yeah. Don't worry about this one. This is to bring in, uh, you can sort of bring in external signals with the XFM. Uh, we could in actual fact just use a different uh, standard filter there. Uh, let's just grab the VCF1 will do fine. Right, there we go. So you'll notice we have two separate sounds going on here now. Let's work on the one of the filter first. Uh, I'm going to bring in an envelope for this one. So we'll just right, uh, click on that, bring in envelope two. You'll see that will pop up there. And just dial in envelope two for our filter. And this is most of the time with Zebra, I'm just kind of running with this. We'll see where this takes us. I don't really have a clear idea of what I want to do just yet, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to bring in one of my favorite modulation sources in Zebra 2, and that is the modulation mapping, or the maps. Um, I'm going to bring in MM map, MM map 1, and we're going to have this set to incremental. Um, I'm going to set this to, in actual fact, right click here. Uh, on this page here, we're going to right click and set this to make unipolar. So we'll just kind of move everything up into positive values only. Let me close this down. And you'll see every time a note plays, it's going to kind of grab a value from this. Uh, you could also do this with sort of SNH modulation, but I like using this incremental value where it sets a different um, value for each note that's being pressed. Uh, so we're going to end up bringing a little bit of that in. So we've got different filter. And there's various different ways we can use this as well. Um, we'll bring in a, another one, uh, for instance. Let's um, let's bring in this fold back in. I'm going to bring down the volume a little bit of this one. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign the M map two modulation map two. Uh, let's just bring this one up and edit this quickly. So what we're going to do here is set this to. We'll leave it on increments once again, but uh, we're going to set this to just two steps in this modulation map. And what this will let me do is create something like an auto pan, for example. So we'll just set this to incremental, and you'll see each alternative note will pick up the next step in this two step modulation map. Uh, so if we go back now, we can assign that to our panning. Pretty cool. Uh, let's bring in a third modulation map now for the folds. And this one will leave in unipolar, I think. Uh, bipolar. I'm going to try and bring in another oscillator here, and we'll just kind of mix that with oscillator one running into the filter. We 
we'll switch this into PWM mode and let's just solo this channel again. And we'll just dial in some pulse width modulation on the second oscillator here. So we'll grab that if I one. Maybe play around with some oscillator effects as well. That'll do. Um, let's bring in, bring some noise over there and let's just assign maybe an FM oscillator to this. So this noise we are going to um, change up with a different envelope. So we'll use envelope three for this one. So by setting envelope three there, we've now got a separate volume envelope for that noise. So we're going to use uh, a modulation mapping now to uh, adjust the decay here. So if you see you don't have one of these little handy slots underneath the decay signal or decay slider. Uh, so what you need to do here is head to the matrix page and we're going to drop in a source which is going to be our modulation map for one. And we'll just drag the target out to our decay on envelope three. Pretty cool, there we go. Let's play around with another source here. Okay, so we're just going to select a different input for our FM oscillator here, and uh, we'll go with input 2, so we can link that to oscillator 2. We'll try oscillator 1 as well. Cool. Uh, let's assign some modulation to the FM mount. We'll grab a sample and hold for this one, so let's go with LFO 2, and we'll take the shape and change that to a random hold. We're going to set that to sync. It's free starting, but we want that sync to quarter notes. I think it will be fine. I'm going to sync that to the gate as well. that side band there. We'll leave that one off. Uh, let's just play around with some of the other stuff in here. We'll maybe try a shaper. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just adding an envelope to this one as well. Uh, we'll go with envelope two. I believe we've already got one in there for that, but we'll just use the same one. That's sounding pretty good. Uh, let's dive into some of the effects now as well and we'll play around with some of that. Uh, let's go back to global and we can take a look at the effects section down at the bottom. Here. Uh, first things first, we're going to set up a, a reverb on the return. And let's... Just play around with this. We'll set this up to wet. Okay, uh, so we're going to kind of adjust the reverbs to only play on certain notes here as well. So what we're going to do is use the ARP mod uh, uh, modulation source. And we're going to go over to the ARP page now. And let's uh, just take a look at the mod, which will be... So uh, this will be the mod for each of them here. If you set this to A, you've got the A mod here, which will be the right. Move that one as well. Let's see if that's working. Uh, we'll head back to global and up oh, mode. Just turn that one up. So you can hear it's just catching one or two of those notes with the reverb. Uh, we'll set up a second send as well. Uh, what I'm going to do is also just add in some compression before or after the reverb. Let's just uh, play around with that. and an EQ as well. Um, we're gonna set up a delay on the second send. dotted uh, eight straights we'll go with the quarter dotted and quarter straight that's all good Uh, 
Um, let's just use the same LFO that we did with the uh, salt and hold. Kind of mixing another oscillator here as well, just to just try something. Uh, we'll use a modulation map for this. Yeah, I like what's happening there. It's a little bit more sparse now and a little bit more filtered out there. Um, we'll jump back into global, just play around with the effects some more. I'm going to add a little bit of compression to the main effects channel. <laughs> So yeah, we're just adding another LFO in. I'm going to set this to a random glide, but we're going to set this to a slower time. Um, I'm going to set the mix all the way down to zero and then have this kind of bring in the sideband uh, with that LFO. So the sideband, if you have them quite low values down here, you get this really kind of nice phasing kind of effect. Uh, you can listen to that if I push, push this up for you. That's sounding pretty good. Uh, now this is very loud at the moment. Let's just bring down the main output slide. Yeah, I think that, uh, we can kind of call it quits there. I think that's sounding pretty good. Nice and detailed. You can see there's a lot of modulation going on here. Uh, mostly kind of random sources from these modulation map um, uh, mod sources. And uh, just some really interesting textures and stuff. You, you can see just using three oscillators here, but each of them spread out over their own channels um, with separate envelopes and so on and so on. So you can get some really, really detailed sounding patches. <laughs> And we can just take a look at some of the other ones I've been working on for an upcoming uh, preset library as well. And these all kind of these, that's what I really like doing with Zebras, these kind of really detailed uh, sequence patches. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right, thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will catch you guys again soon right here on Marilla Music for more tutorials and reviews. Stay tuned, stay safe. Catch you soon.